In last month's reseller income report, I shared with you that I had made the most money I've ever made in a single month reselling clothing on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. This month, it's the complete opposite. In the month of October, my numbers are the lowest they've been all year long. I made so many dumb mistakes. I hadn't been thrifting in over like a month and a half, and so I wasn't listing as much. There's so many lessons and insights to be extracted from all of this. So here I am anyway, sharing the good sales, the bad sales. We'll be talking about the brands that sold for me the most in the month of October. And I'll also be unpacking and sharing with you some of the mistakes that I made that caused me to have low sales numbers. Let's talk about some of the sales that sold for the most money and left me some of the biggest profit out of all these sales that I had for the month of October. The first one on the list is this pair of jeans by Academics, Native Warrior. They were embroidered, they were very beautiful upon first sight. As soon as I saw them, I did not even have to do comps. They just screamed high quality to me. I took it home without even looking it up and it did not disappoint at all. I listed these for $60 and they ended up selling for $55 on eBay. I paid $4.10 for them and my final profit after everything was $35.22 and the greatest part of it all is that it, it only took a couple of days to sell. Before moving on let me just tell you that sometimes when I talk about eBay sales the price sold may look different from what I am telling you but that's just the way eBay sales are calculated and that's what I have on my spreadsheet. It just all has to do because the buyer pays the sold price plus shipping and sometimes shipping ends up being cheaper than what the buyer paid for. Second high sale was also on eBay and it was this pair of Torrid Red Bandana Canva lace-up shoes. This is one of the few Torrid items that I've been doing retail arbitrage that have left a good chunk of profit. So I will be looking into this style of shoe moving forward. They sold for $49. I paid a total of $11.80 brand new with tags and my final profit was $21.98 and they only took nine days to sell. Number three on the list are these mod cloth wide leg plus size pants. This is the second item I sell by this brand mod cloth. It's definitely one to look out for and do comps when you come across it. I just thought wide leg was in their preppy style. They have the fall vibe going on so I decided to pick them up and they ended up selling for $40. I paid $4.10. My profit was $27 and they only took four days to sell. Number four also on Poshmark is this pair of jeans by Wrangler. They were called the Willow denim jeans. At first, I regretted buying these jeans when I realized that they were a junior size. They were size three, and I just assumed that it'd be super hard to sell that size. Wrangler jeans are a good thing to look out for, especially the mom jeans, the vintage ones with the large brown patch. This one didn't have any of it. It didn't have heavy embroidery either, so I was afraid they weren't gonna do good, but they did. They sold on Poshmark for $30. I paid $4.10 for these. My final profit was $19.90 and they only took one day to sell. Final high profit sale is also on Poshmark and it is these Naturalizer Tipper faux leather heeled booties. This brand sucks in pretty much all other kinds of shoes. The mules, the dress shoes, all the it doesn't do well at all. They sell for like $14, $12 and they sit for a very long time. But when it comes to boots in this brand, they seem to sell. They have booties, ankle booties, mid shaft. They have some taller ones as well that I've picked up in the past. Even though the leather isn't genuine leather, it's just faux leather, they seem to sell for a pretty good sales price. They sold for $29 for me on Poshmark. I paid $4.10. My final profit was $19. The days listed was 64 days. That's a little bit high, but that is because I listed them, I'm pretty sure in the beginning of August, but because now we're moving into the winter season, these things are going to start moving a bit faster. Now we're moving to five low profit sales so that you can know what to be aware of 
when out thrifting, what to avoid so that you don't make costly mistakes. The first one is a J. Crew piece. It's sold here on Poshmark for a very low amount of $8. This thing was just too simple, too lightweight. It was also J. Crew factory. Some J. Crew does really well. I pick up a lot of it. But this particular shirt, I think I just picked it up because it was a dollar and I figured, oh, it's good. Someone could throw it in a bundle. But no, bad mistake. Don't buy it. Don't do it. Lightweight, simple stuff from J. Crew does not do well. My final profit was a dollar and 30 cents and it was listed for 203 days next low profit sale is also on Poshmark and it is this Disney Mickey Mouse embroidered jacket not too mad at this one I got it for free it sold for eight dollars and I didn't pay anything so my final profit was five dollars and five cents it was listed though for 172 days and that's just the part I don't like it's just taking up storage space for a final profit of $5. I'm just really starting to rethink things here. Listing free stuff that I get from others or from here around my house has been sustaining my business so far. It at least has supplemented somewhat when I can go thrifting and all of that. But moving forward, I'm looking into changing my business model just a little bit. For the third low sale, we're moving on to eBay. I sold this Lane Bryant velvet blouse. More than likely, I bought this blouse because it was only a dollar and I was experimenting with plus size brands to see what sells and what doesn't. I sold this for $15 on eBay. Because of the average cost of goods, my final profit was only $2.20. The fourth low sale was on Poshmark and it was this Express slim button up dress shirt. This is something I listed at the very beginning of my reselling journey it was just something i got out of my closet i think i had like three of the same shirt the other two have sold so this is the very last one it sold for a total of ten dollars i didn't pay anything for it so my final profit was seven dollars and five cents but it was listed for 392 days which is way too many days the final low sale was also on poshmark and it was this chadwick's 100 wool pea coat now this one i did get it because it was a dollar it was wool it was pretty enough i did list it last winter way before winter was over and it didn't sell it may have been because it was a petite size or maybe it's that chadwick's is not a good brand that just goes to show that just because something is made out of a great fabric doesn't mean it'll automatically do okay it also needs to be paired up with something else like a great brand a great style this sold for ten dollars i paid one dollar for it my final profit was six dollars and five cents and it was listed for 311 days let's talk about five items that sold really fast this month the first one is this pink victoria secret nfl shirt it sold within the same day that i listed it and i kind of had a good feeling that it would pink stuff seems to do really well especially the nfl stuff i did get this one from jamar so my cost of goods was pretty high it sold on poshmark for 15 dollars i'm thinking now that i should have probably listed it a bit higher i paid a total of eight dollars and 92 cents so that leaves my final profit to three dollars and eight cents so pink is a good brand to pick up it does good most of the time especially their nfl gear but when you're getting it at this price uh, it may not be such a good idea so only pick up pink if you can get it for a low amount and it will sell pretty quick the next fast sale was actually a bundle they were lane bryant plus size jeans they sold for forty dollars i paid a total of eight dollars and twenty cents for both of these jeans so my profit was right around $24 and they sold within the first day that I listed them. Number three on the list is this unique low brown Sherpa fleece jacket. It sold on eBay for $40. I paid $8.92 for it and my profit was $16.62 and it sold the first day that I listed it. This is an item that I got in the Jamar box and this is one of the ones that brought back a decent amount of profit. These type of teddy jackets do really well all winter long, even if the brand is not that great. Sometimes you can still get away with selling it for a good enough sale price. The fourth fast sale happened on Mercari. That was one of the few sales I made there this month. And it was these cut from the cloth skinny denim jeans. 
They sold for $22. I paid $4.10 for them and my final profit was $14.76. They sold within three days. Cut from the Cloth is not a particularly good brand. It has to have some stuff going for it like heavy embroidery, flat pockets, maybe some distressing raw hem or something like that. These a uh, pair of jeans sold because they were a uh, larger size. They were size 14, so that's why I decided to pick them up and they ended up selling pretty quickly. The last fast sale are these Sara plaid high-waisted pants. They sold on Poshmark for $18. I paid $4.10 for them and my final profit was $10.30 and they sold within three days. I picked these up because of style. I like the plaid. Fall was coming up so it had a lot of good pointers for it. I really didn't expect much for it and I was right. $18 with the $10 profit and I'm not mad at it. The, the turnaround was also fast but as I've been saying throughout this video, I slowly want to start hyper focusing on quality stuff that's going to bring in a lot more profit than these lower sales. Now let's move on to talk about some of the items that took way too long to sell. The first one is this dress by Nicole Miller. It is a bodycon knit dress. It sold on Poshmark for $12. I paid $3.50. So my profit was only $4. And the worst, worst part of it is that it took almost a whole year to sell, 326 days. I bought it last winter and I bought it because I know that sweater dresses can do well during the winter, but not this one. It didn't have much going for it, not the brand, not the size, the style, nothing about it was impressive. The next one that sold very slowly um, are these boots by Morel. They were waterproof performance boots. They took a total of 252 days to sell. They sold for $32.85 on eBay. I paid $8.50. So that cost of goods is pretty high. So that left me with a profit of $11.32. Morel usually does pretty good. I'm not sure why these took so long to sell. I thought it was a decent boot. I thought it had a lot going for it, being that they were waterproof and outdoor type boots. It may have been the size. Maybe I started the price too high to begin with as well. The third slow sell are these Born of Concept faux leather gold chain flats. They sold for $13. I paid $3 for them and my final profit was $10. They took 231 days to sell. I pick up Born shoes a lot and they usually do pretty good. This one was on the lower end than most all of my other Born of Concept sales. I'm not sure what was wrong with these flats and why they took so long to sell and why they sold for such a low amount. Maybe this style of flat is just not in. The next Next one that sold slow is this OOTD cream lace little mini dress. My profit was $2.05. It sold in 197 days. I'm pretty sure this was an offer sent to me and I accepted it because first of all, this was not even a good buy to begin with. Summer is almost over and I'm really starting to realize that these type of dresses, these lacy dresses are just not in no more. I bought several styles in several colors and brands throughout the summer and all of them did bad. So moving forward, anything that's lacy, any dresses like this, I will definitely be doing specific comps to make sure that I am not stuck with all of these items that are going to end up selling for low amounts. This last one is the worst one. It is a pair of flats by Mark Fisher. They sold for $13. I paid $7.50 for them and my profit I lost money. I lost 45 cents on these pair of shoes. They were uh, listed for 183 days. So many things wrong here. I don't know where I got this weird idea that Mark Fisher was a good brand to pick up. It's not. I picked it up a couple of times. It's done really bad both times. The second thing is that this style is just not it. This pair of flats were also flawed. They had like paint stains. And the last thing is I am not sure why I have my cost of goods at $7.50. It may have been a mistake but because that is so high for a pair of shoes like this. But that's what I have in my spreadsheet and so that's what 
what we're going with. But all in all, this brand, these style of shoes don't seem to perform well. Normally in this part of the video, we talk about top selling categories for the month. But this time we're gonna talk about top selling brands. I'm going to be sharing with you the top three selling brands for the month of October. The number one selling brand was Torrid. Torrid is a plus size brand that sells very well, whether you buy it thrifted or not. But for me this month, it was a lot of new with tags items because I was buying stuff online, which let me tell you has not turned out the way that I expected it. I've been running into a lot of issues. For one, Mercari took down some of my listings because they said that my items had only stock photos in them. So I'll have to go back and relist them and take photos. Another thing that happened was that Torrid canceled an entire order that I was expecting to get and it was an order that I had purchased with what they call Torrid cash that you get for buying items. So now I have to figure that out. That and many other issues I've been running into. But nonetheless, Torrid is a great brand to pick up. It sells pretty quickly in pretty much any style, like the tops, the jeans, the dresses, the jackets, the shoes, all of that tends to sell. The second top selling brand is Born or Born of Concept. So they're essentially the same thing. It's just that born of concept, the way I understood it when I Googled it was that it's more of a trendy, more for like younger crowd. And born is more sophisticated type shoes like the leather boots and things like that. I find born a lot at my thrift stores. I used to pick up almost anything, but now I'm starting to get a little bit more selective because I'm starting to see what has more value versus what doesn't. Moving into the winter season, the Bourne boots will definitely do well, especially if they are genuine leather or if they have the buckles and zippers and things like that. So be on the lookout for Bourne this winter. And the last brand that we'll talk about is Lane Bryant. This is also a plus size brand, so I guess that's something to be said there. Plus size brands sell really well. The thing with Lane Bryant is that not everything will sell. I said with Torrid, the style don't matter. With Lane Bryant, it does. The tops tend to sit forever. The dresses tend to sit a very long time. The only thing that sells pretty quickly for me are Lane Bryant jeans. But there are jeans that are trendy, like girlfriend jeans, boyfriend, crop, straight, distressed. Those are the kind of jeans that sell for me. I will continue to look into tops when I see them, but they have to be extra special. I've never seen Lane Bryant outerwear, but I imagine those could sell for more. But when it comes to tops and dresses, just be careful and do your research, do your comps. Now let's break down the total sales numbers for the month of October. In October, I made a total of $1,430. My total earnings after all of these platforms take their cut was $1,047. I paid a total of $351 for all the items that sold. So that leaves my final profit from my reselling side hustle to $693 and that is not good at all. By platform, when we break it down, I made a total of $942 on Poshmark. 360 on eBay and $129 on Mercari. eBay has been number two for a very long time. Mercari used to be number two and Poshmark's always number one. But I feel like Mercari has the biggest impact when you're not listing consistently. That's the store that seems to shoot down the fastest for me. $129 is a little bit. That was only about six sales. I haven't made this little on Mercari in like all of this year or even last Year. That just goes to show that if you are reselling on Mercari, it's super important to be listing consistently. The total items I listed was 57 items, which is way below what I've listed in the past months. And that is just because I didn't go thrifting for like a month and a half. All I was doing is just listing Jamar boxes that I was getting and stuff from around my house. But all of that just wasn't sufficient enough to keep momentum going in my stores. And it might have been a different story if I was relisting on the daily basis and on eBay if I was ending listings and putting them up as fresh new ones. But I wasn't even doing that consistently this month. So those two things were the things that had the biggest impact 
on my why my sales are so low but all that should change for the month of November the current month we're in because I already went to the thrift store and I bought over 75 high quality um, winter outerwear and vests and jackets and all of these great materials that people are going to be looking for this winter I'm already halfway through listing those items as soon as I'm done I'm going to go back to the thrift store and do it all over again just because I really want to end this year strong with my reselling business so that means that the average that I listed on the daily basis was one to two items that's something I would do when I was barely beginning reselling I would only list one to two items and so I didn't see much momentum for a long time and it wasn't until I upped the amount of items I was listing daily that I started to see like some substantial income from reselling on the monthly basis. My average cost of goods for this month was $5.16 and I think that's just slightly above what it normally is and that's just because the Jamar uh, items the cost of goods for that are higher than I would pay at the thrift store and I've been buying things on Torrid website to resell on Poshmark so those new with tag items also add to this cost of goods and make it higher. Total items sold for the month of October were 73 and so that means that I sold on average about two a day. Even though I was seeing consistent sales throughout the month, the couple items that were selling were lightweight items like tank tops and sports bras. I was trying to get rid of all the summer stuff, the sandals, the flats, and I was even clearancing out all the old winter stuff that I had been having for a couple of years. So I was taking low offers, I was sending low offers, I'm just trying to clear out my closet and start kind of focusing on higher quality stuff. But all of that did make my average sale price drop to $19.88. Last month it was at $25, so I really need to work this month in um, bringing that back up, which shouldn't be that hard because it is going to be a lot of boots and outerwear that's going to be selling for the month of October. So that's how my month went when it comes to reselling. I did have a great month here on YouTube and with affiliate commissions as well. I also made strides towards creating a product I like to sell here at home. I painted all my rooms in my house. I think I just need the bathrooms now. We did go on vacation to San Antonio. So even though reselling is down, other parts of my life I've been making progress so all is well and there is always next month in the comments down below let me know how your October went in your reselling business if you want to watch more of these income reports I'll leave them linked here and in the description down below thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and I'll see you next time